So a massive new patch has not long been released and today guys we go through the entire patch notes and see what's going down. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and let me tell you about my little giveaway. I am giving away a couple copies of this game to be with a chance of winning one for yourself or a friend. Simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners will be announced in a few days so good luck everybody. Okay, so yesterday they announced that the total number of players exceeds 19 million. That's 12 million Steam players and 7 million Xbox players. Wow, what a number. Unbelievable. And they also say within this tweet that we're continuing to prioritize in fixing bugs. Uh, late last night, guys, I mean, it's early hours uh, UK time here. So I thought, you know, I'll just wake up in the morning and make a video on this. But late last night, they posted this. Uh, it's a patch notice. Steam patch version 0.1.4.0 and Xbox patch version 0.1.1.3. Steam version has been released. The Xbox version has been released as soon as it's ready. So let's get into the patch notes paper. Okay, so fixed an issue where the game would crash under certain conditions. Okay, I definitely got this since the latest patch. I was definitely suffering way more crashes. Fixed an issue where if another player's pal had HP 30% or less, it could be captured by using a sphere. <laughs> wow, that was actually a thing, that's madness. Fix an issue where enemy powers will get stuck in walls due to charged attacks. Yes, I've noticed that too. Okay, so implemented the first fix for an issue where the game would always crash and save data would be corrupted when a guild's total number of powers captured reached around 7,000. Jeez. The game no longer crashes even if the total number of captured objects exceeds 7,000. Okay, so however, save data that has already been in this state in the case of a server, the server's real data prior to this update will still be unable to load. That's a shame. Okay, so we're continuing to work on fixing this issue permanently. Okay, so key configuration. Added support for mouse side keys and new keypad in keyboard key configuration. Further improvements are currently planned, such as support for interact key configuration. Player issues. Now, I had many issues, let me tell you. Okay, so fix an issue where players on dedicated servers and co op online were receiving damage twice. <laughs> wow. The speculations have been changed so that you can move at extremely low speed even when you exceeded the weight limit. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Players will no longer pass through walls when dismounting. Fix an issue where capture power strengthened by lift monk effigies was reset when using memory reset drugs. Now, I know that was a big problem. I saw so many articles and videos talking about this. Glad it's been fixed. Fix an issue where armor could be equipped in a wrong slot. Again, this is another one I've seen more or less every single YouTuber cover besides myself because I knew it was going to get fixed straight away. Okay, so adjusted camera positions of several pals to make it easier to see when mounted. I had a problem with Jet Rag and I didn't see anyone else complain about this, but when I was riding his back and he used his missile attack, his partner's skill, it was like I zoomed into his body and I couldn't see where I was shooting. I'm hoping this has been fixed. I'm about to load up and check it because, yeah, this sounds like one of them problems too. Okay, so base issues. Specifications have been changed so that pals who are manually assigned to a breeding farm will not become hungry and their manual assignments will not be removed. Pretty cool. This is a good thing as well. I know a lot of people are struggling with this, complaining about how when they're trying to breed, pals will just run off and do other things. I had the issue where they'd run off and eat, but I wouldn't have an issue where they run off and did other things. Uh, so that's pretty cool fix. The key to lift pals have been changed from F to V and on controller from X to Y in order to prevent accidents. I mean, I lifted a lot of my powers up. I'm not sure why that's been changed, but eh? Okay, so moving on. Reduce the speed and range of fire spreading on wooden buildings. I mean, I saw them actually make a few tweets about this, uh, basically memeing on people who had their bases destroyed by fire. Listen, people, if you've got a wooden base, let me tell you, it can catch a blaze and it will just crumble. So make sure you change that shears to stone or metal as soon as you can. That's something I could, if my base caught fire now, I wouldn't know what to do, people. I already accidentally shot it with a rocket launcher and took down half the side of my breeding pen. So yeah, that was bad enough for me. Never mind the whole thing coming on fire. Jeez. 
Okay, so fixing the issue where manual work assignments could not be set at all under certain circumstances. I had this problem when there's like a little a blockage in the way, a container, even my PAL box being too close to my forges and trying to chuck out my German tired Ignis and his tail getting in the way and it just wouldn't smelt anything. So yeah, I'm hoping this is that fix. Okay, so here we go. Fix an issue where extremely high level relaxoruses would attack the base during raids. Never had that problem to be honest. Added several measures to prevent base powers from getting stuck. Cool. This is something I'm pretty sure all of us have suffered with, not just myself. Okay, so fix an issue where powers will get stuck while transporting items and will drop them on the spot. Yes, I had this problem. Every day, every single day I've been having this problem. Fix an issue where powers at the base would continue to cut down trees that were already cut. That's a weird one, I'm not gonna lie. Fix an issue where powers at the base were on the verge of death due to unexplained falling damage. Well, powers don't wanna be falling off my building, that's instant death, I can guarantee it. Fix an issue where powers at the base would float under some certain conditions. Yes, this is something I definitely had issues with, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so fix an issue where if a farm was built on the second floor or above, work powers were unable to move on the floors below. This is something I actually changed up my base because of this. I was this was uh, this was a problem I was having. Uh, I'm so glad this has been fixed and probably revert back to my old design because uh, I love the look of it. But my powers are just getting stuck and just getting some weird ass buggy glitches. So I'm so glad this has been fixed. I really am. Okay, so moving on to other corrected incorrect text. Uh, I can't read to save my life anyway, so I probably didn't notice any of it. And measures have been added to prevent cheating and stealing other players' pals. Now, if you don't know what this is, guys, I've actually heard quite a lot of this about players going into online official servers and being able to steal other pals. I'm like, what? I mean, as fun as that sounds, I mean, it's quite terrifying at the same time. If I'm flying around on my jet wagon and someone comes across and steals it, I'm going to be pretty upset. I'm not going to lie. All my high level Anubis that I've bred up, wow, I would be so upset. So I'm glad that's been fixed. And many other minor fixes, such as the addition of a UI key guide. Cool. They continue on to say, we will continue development placing top priority on fixing major problems and issues. Thank you for your continued support of Power World. And there we have it guys so yeah that is the latest patch for the game uh on steam again version 0.1.4.0 on xbox which is not out as i make this video which is coming out pretty soon version 0.1.1.3 and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more power would be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one